Hello, I'm Sue Eldridge and this is my Monday Moment. Thank you so much for joining me. So Tim and I have been married for 35 years and um, ever since I can remember one of our, I don't know, it's not a motto, but one of our principles that we live by is from Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. And we just put that into, into practice in, ev in every area of our lives. So when we were first married, we, asked, we were asked to be life group leaders in the church. Well, what an honour that was. And so we did that with everything in us. And then there was a time that we weren't life group leaders. And so we sort of said, well, God, what do you want us to do now? So I think Tim went into um, helping with the children. I went into helping somebody with a Bible study. And we threw ourselves into that. And we did it with everything we could. We did it with excellence. And we put everything we could into it. And that has been how we live our life. If we're going to do something, we're going to do it with excellence. And we're going to put everything we have into it. And... Um, one of the other things um, that one of the things that we live by is whatever our hand finds to do, uh, sorry, whatever it is that you've got, use it for the good of God. So it's like I can remember where you first, um, I don't know where that scripture is, but it's like whatever is in your hand, use it and God can use it. So we were... Um, we were first married, we were in a, a terraced house, a little Victorian terraced house. It did have four bedrooms, but it all went upwards. And I can remember being on a walk and saying, oh God, I would love a bigger house. I would love more bedrooms. I would love to have people be able to come and stay and make a fuss of them. And um, I remember the small, quiet voice of my God say to me, you've got a spare bedroom and you don't use it and I'm like yeah but it isn't very nice it's not pretty and and then I started thinking yeah but I could probably do something and I remember went home and I had a chat with Tim and I can remember we went out and bought a cheap border and put the border all around this in the 80s when borders were really in and put a border around and made a little coffee and tea station got some nice bedding and I made that spare room which was also an office into the best spare room I could and you know what over the years God's blessed me with homes with amazing spare rooms and um, in fact even recently we were saying to I was saying to God oh I'd love to move by the sea and have a beautiful home where I can have Airbnb people and make money and he said the same to me but you've got a lovely home and you've got a spare room and hence the Airbnb started you know what if you're crying out for to God for something, maybe there's a little voice that you hear and you might be knocking it away because you don't like it, but it may be God going, what have you got in your hand? Start with what I've already given you. And oh my goodness, whatever it is you do, do it with all your might unto God and he will bless you. But don't keep praying and praying and praying um, when maybe he's answering you by going, you've got it, it's in your hand. And um, I just I just think that's a really healthy way to live. Um, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Whether that's cleaning, whether it's praying for people, whether it's worshiping or leading worship or worshiping in your car, do it with everything inside you because God sees your heart and God sees your motives. And also, you, God wants to use what he's already given you. So instead of continually praying, and I'm not against praying, praying for the next thing, maybe he's saying, what have I given you that you can use now? So I hope that encourages you because that's the way we've lived and, uh, and it's been great. So God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.